Hey guys, Henning and Morten from Flip Moments here. In this video, we are going to take a look at uh, how we can use the new PolyBuild feature in Blender 2.81. Before that, make sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. PolyBuild is an awesome new tool in Blender and it makes retopology a lot easier. You can find it under here to the left if you are in edit mode. It requires that you already have a plane set up or any kind of geometry. So we have just made a simple plane and we just moved it into place. We also enable snapping as well, where we are setting the snap to closest and project onto self. We also have a displacement modifier set up with just a tiny bit of strength to it. And we have enabled edit mode and uh, cage on cage. So we can see it actually in the viewport, which is really nice. You can see like, otherwise we have, we have some issues here actually seeing what's going on. And then we also have a setting, which is under the object properties display properties or viewport display and in front. Without this as well, it's impossible to see anything at all. The tool is very easy to use. You, when you zoom in here, you can see that we have this blue highlighting over our material. Uh, also, as a quick tip, you can change the material by going on a material and uh, just changing the color here. So the blue highlighting just means that wherever you click now, it's going to add uh, topology. So now we can very easily just click and drag. And now you can see that it's going to add topology where we are dragging. If you, um, you're in a situation like this and you want to add a polygon here, you can easily do this. If we just hover over this vert here and hold down the control key, and now you can see both of them are activated at the same time. And then we can just nicely, nicely easily draw out a quad. A little tip as well is that if you hit the N key, get up this menu here, we go on our tool, we can enable auto merge. Auto merge just means that when something is, is close together, it's going to actually merge them together. So make sure to enable auto merge and set this threshold to something like 0 0.1. Now this depends entirely on your scale. So now we can uh, just delete some of these and we can do a little demo of how we would retopologize this in this tool. You can delete something by hitting the control key or sorry, hitting the shift key and you see it turns red and now we can easily just drag on top of it. So now we can just shape our um, polygon here into, into the shape we want just by hitting the corner of it and we can just move it around like so. Then we can uh, click here and we can just shape it and we can move it into place. When I'm retopologizing, I prefer to always get very clean geometry down right away. The, if your topology is super small and really, and really dirty, like meaning that the model is like this where nothing is, the lines aren't really nice and clean, you are doing yourself a massive disservice. The cleaner and the more equal the polys are from the beginning, the, the more time you're going to save later on and the better it's going to be. Yeah, simplicity is, is really the key to good topology because you can always take simple topology and then just subdivide it later. There's no reason to go crazy overboard with trying to get a lot of skin folds and wrinkles into topology in the beginning. That's always something that could come later down the line. So if you want to bridge these two together, you can use the traditional bridge tool, or we can click on this edge here, and then we can just drag it out like so, and just make sure that we have auto, auto merge on, auto weld on, and now it's just gonna merge these two together. Make sure you just double check that they are actually merged, because otherwise you're in for a world of pain later on. So just blocking in the loops like this, is, is a really good idea. We can just block in some more loops as well and get the nasal labial fold in there, like so. We can start to block it in. I found it a bit tricky to, to operate this uh, once you get zoomed too far out and you have, uh, and, and the poly is too small. So you just have to zoom a bit in until you can actually see the highlighting and then you can keep dragging again. Yeah, one of the reasons, it's an uh, interesting story actually from a production that I worked in once working with a colleague of mine and he was working on like this foot for a monster and the foot like he started doing the retopology for it and he started heavy like heavy like getting all the wrinkles in there quadding stuff that didn't need to be quadded around you know pimples that stuck out of the foot and that kind of stuff which meant that when he later got feedback on his model on how to change it he actually had to scrap his entire topology that he spent you know a week making just because like he'd gone too overboard from the beginning yeah you really want to keep this simple in this stage one thing which is really cool with the poly build tool is that you can also use additional tools here so if you want to add a loop in here we can hit control r now you can see we just click here and now we have the loop right here and then we're just back to the poly build tool right away the moment you stop it then we're back with this i'm not doing this here it's just for sake of argument 
and then just quickly just blocking it out. The cool thing is that you can just hover over it like so and then you just drag it out. I'm also also always trying to keep these lines here the same so that we can easily add loops in here and they're just going to be fitting together. This is a bit almost comically low in terms of topology, but we can always add more loops later on. Also, as a heads up, we are not going to be doing the whole face in this video. That would be crazy. <laughs> and there are, there are other tutorials for that. But we just want to show you the overall process. I'll, I'll do an overall blocking of this just so you can see how, how we would do it. So in, instead of adding another poly over here, like by adding a plane, I'm just kind of dragging it out and using this to as a starting point. Yeah, it's a good approach where you just you block in or block out the topology really, really big. And then you can just go in, add a loop here and there just to, to split it instead of having to create multiple pieces of geometry from the start. A little tip as well, which we're not doing in this video, is that here everything is merged together. This is just to make it look a bit cooler. <laughs> but I really recommend that you keep these things separate so that you can focus on the interior of the mouth without, uh, the, um, without the teeth and tongue and everything being in a way. Yeah, if you wanted to do it like properly, properly, uh, you would probably have, you know, your teeth as a separate object, especially from your gums, just to get the uh, proper SSS in there when you when you go into rendering. Yeah, retopology looks very easy in the beginning, but then once you start to think about all these kind of things, how do you separate it out and how do you do the inside of the mouth? Should the tongue be a separate object? All these kind of things. Uh, it becomes it becomes a really big subject. You just merge these two together as well. I also recommend that you um, that you use the tweak tool a bit as well and use traditional modeling tools. Like here, I've already hotkeyed the bridge tool. It's to uh, to the the forward slash. This is right next to my is right above my left Windows key. It's I believe you can use the F add on for for that operation as well. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah you could do click here and hit F as well. That's also really handy. So it's it's not just about only using a poly build tool. There's not a competition here as to what tool you should be using. For certain time, certain things, you just want to use the tweak tool. And the reason for that is that you can only tweak with it. <laughs> like it's just, <laughs> it's just a very easy tool. You can't screw anything up. It's really easy to get junk data with tools like this as well because it's so easy to add geometry that it's almost too easy to add geometry. Hold on a control key and go down here and we can just add nice loops like this. You can see it's pretty pretty rough and pretty big and blocky topology that we have there for the jaw. But the advantage is it's clean, which means that we can now, if we wanted to go in with an edge, just add more edge loops really easily if you wanted to up the resolution. You can also work with the symmetry modifier enabled as well. That's what we do in the more elaborate uh, uh, rate topology for beginners we have on YouTube as well, which we're definitely linking to in the description. This is more showing how to use work with the poly build tool. So this is where the bridge tool is really handy or the F the F add-on is really handy, F2 add-on, where now you can um, go to um, the, the tweak tool and then we can go into edge mode and we can uh, make a bridge and then we can hit the F, F, F and we just fill it in like so. Again, not a competition between tools. It's just whatever works and that I'm happy to use it. You fill this in like so. Just trying to make these loops here uh, flow nicely together. And this is tricky as well. This is tricky to do live, <laughs> you know, when you need to think about how yeah. does stuff flow together. It's like you're you're solving a puzzle while you're doing it. So On sometimes YouTube. sometimes there's like things where you have to redirect loops and it's it's not always a straightforward process. No. There's definitely some thinking involved. Yeah, so what I'm trying to think about is now how can we redirect this down here and looking nice at the same time. But this is where the poly build tool is so nice because now you can just hold down the control key here and just drag these guys out. So eventually the puzzle is starting to come together and you will have your solution at some point. We'll just leave this for now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we solve topology. That's legit how I solve my topology problems a lot of times. I just leave it for the future and then I just see what I can connect up there. And I hope that future Henning has a better plan than current day Henning, which he often has. Usually future me just goes like, hey, let's just redirect this loop further down the body or something. And then I deal with it even later. <laughs> yeah. That's a legit way of doing it. <laughs>
And then eventually you wake your may you wait you make your way down to the bottom of the feet and that's where you then terminate <laughs> all the loops you didn't want. You have the nastiest apology ever under the feet. Or it's, the crutch or the butt crack. Yep. Ears as well is a good place to terminate it. Yep. <laughs> that's In, how you do inside it. of the eyes as well. Mm, Nostrils. Yeah. Shouldn't be underestimated for sure. Let's just see if we can connect these guys up here. And then we'll show you a nice little trick on how to add resolution to this very nicely. It's it's just so handy when you you have you've uh, really made these guys work together like so, and you can just hit the F key. What I did there was hitting the G key twice, and now you can slide it around like so, which is just it's just an awesome tool. You can also just do this, and then we can see where we can redirect this. Ta da! Triangle. <laughs> <laughs> the per the perfect place for there a triangle. There we go. There we go, nice little triangles here. So you shouldn't do this ever. This is just because we don't really care about nice edge flow. Like we're really in favor of utilizing triangles where it makes sense, Yeah. but not like just this. ignore those. <laughs> yeah, what we can do here, we can uh, we can uh, join these two up together. So we can do auto merge like this. Almost there. <laughs> if it wants to merge. Almost there. No, it's not working, is it? <laughs> Come on. There we go. There we go. So a cool technique once you have something really rough like this, which is which is you know clearly you clearly need to add loops to it. Instead of just straight up adding loops to everything like this in the middle, what you can do. You can now just take your entire model like this under modifiers, and now we can add um, a subdivision modifier to it, subdivision surface modifier, and then we can just apply this. We can apply everything here, and now you can see that we have this very nice mesh like this, which just conforms really well to the surface, and um, just has very nice and even quads. This is usually how I do it. I stick to this very low base, and then I just add a subdivision to it, and I collapse it down. This just means that you get really high resolution and incredibly clean models like this. So we're not really going to take this too much further. You know, you can see how we can take this a lot further than this. And we are doing a full facial retopology of this guy in a future tutorial. But for now, you can see how easy it is to use the poly build tool. In short, you find it down here and you click on or you click the, the area once the blue has been highlighted. And then you control click on a corner like this to drag it out and then you shift click to delete something. That's really all there is to it. And with that, you can make really advanced street topology very quickly. So we really hope you like this uh, Blender modeling tutorial. And if you wanna see more content like this in the future, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the little notification bell. And we'd love to hear your little read topology tips as well in Blender. I'm sure there are many of those. Oh yes. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're looking for training or high quality assets, make sure to stop by the Flip Normals Marketplace. And if you're interested in supporting us by buying our merchandise, you can check that out in the description below.